Now this verse, <coughs> this verse number 95, we will be seeing two aspects in this. The first thing is that the verse is explaining the merits and the excellence of jihad and of mujahideen. First of all, I would want all of us to revise or to understand what actually jihad means. Jihad comes from the word jim ha dal. And this means in Arabic to struggle, to strive, to work hard, to endure for any cause. But jihad fi sabi lillah is what is being talked about here and in Quran. Jihad fi sabi lillah is to struggle, to strive, to work hard or to endure in the cause of Allah, in the path of Allah. And this is the jihad which is being talked about here and or in wherever in the Quran. There are different levels at which a believer can do jihad. The different levels being the first level being with our own soul. A believer does jihad with his own or her own soul, our own souls, the nafse amara, which teaches the person evil, evil deeds, which tends towards a sinful life or sinful activities. So trying to control our desires, trying to control our desires, submitting and surrendering to the obedience of Allah is all the effort which we do to this. To this effect is the first level of jihad. The second is with our family, with our spouse, with our children. If they are ordering or they are wanting or desiring us to do something against the orders of Allah or the Prophet wasallam, then the jihad, the struggle against them is the second level of jihad. Then the third level of jihad for a Muslim or for a believer is with the society, with the community. The sinful norms, the forbidden customs, the traditions of the society or of their community or of their tribe or of their clan, which which are opposing or which clash with the teachings of Quran and Hadith and Sunnah. So there is the third level of jihad. Now, the fourth level would be jihad with the state, when the laws, the rules, the regulations are contradictory or opposing the laws, the rules and regulations of Quran and of Allah. Or when the rulers are making laws and making rules and regulations which are opposing the rules and regulations of Quran and Sunnah, then this would be the fourth level of jihad. 